Here at Leatherfoot Emporium, a question that our clients frequently ask is how do you lace and tie dress shoes? There are many different ways to lace and tie your dress shoes, but in this video, I'll be going through how to do a bar lace, tie a surgeon's knot, and a bow knot. Let's start off by inserting a shoelace in the first eyelet of your shoe. Most Oxfords will come with five eyelet holes. If your shoes have an even number of eyelets, such as four or six on each side, keep both sides of the lace at the same length. If your shoes come in an odd number of eyelets, keep one end of the shoelace slightly longer than the other. To make this tutorial simpler, we'll work with one shoelace at a time. Let's start with the longer lace and number it lace number one. On the same side of lace number one, weave the lace from under the second eyelet. Now let's bring the lace across the other side and insert it over the second eyelet. On the same side, weave it under the fourth eyelet. Now let's bring it across to the other side and insert it over the fourth eyelet. Now bring the lace across to the other side and weave it under the fifth eyelet. Now let's work with lace number two. On the same side of lace number two, weave it from under the third eyelet. Now let's bring it across to the other side and insert it over the third eyelet. On the same side, Weave the lace from under the fifth eyelet. And now you're done. If the lengths of your laces aren't balanced, they can always be adjusted by loosening and tightening the bars. Let's start with the knot. Make sure your knot is snug but not tight. It's important to start with a strong base when lacing your shoes. Taking the lace that's facing more towards you, make one loop. Taking the other lace, make a loop moving towards you and wrap it around your first loop. Pinching the second lace, pull the lace through under the knot creating a second loop. Take the second loop and weave it through the knot once more. Now pull both ends of the loops. Now you've completed the surgeon's knot. Let's start by taking your laces and tying a knot. Taking the lace facing downward, create a loop. In my experience with the bow knot, when I start with the lace facing downward, I find that my knot tends to stay horizontal. Now let's take the other lace and wrap it twice in an outward motion around your first loop. Carefully remove the first loop off your finger. With the second string, create a loop and put it through the double loop. Gently tighten your knot by tugging on the two loops and string ends. And voila, you completed your bow knot. Depending on your preference, the bow knot and surgeon's knot can be styled in two different ways. By pulling the two loops apart, you can have a more open knotted look, or by keeping them close together, a closed knot style. You can test out the strength and structure of your knot by tugging on the laces on the last eyelids. If your knot maintains a horizontal structure, your knot has a strong form. 